There are many really, really, really great desserts that are made even better with whipped cream. But with whipped cream, the one thing that you want to be careful about is that it's whipped just perfectly, where it's creamy and satiny in your mouth and it isn't grainy at all. So you always want to use heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, either one, whatever is labeled at the store. And then you just want to have your whipping cream in your um, bowl and then just add a little bit of sugar. I use granulated sugar because I like the taste of it better. A lot of people use confectioner sugar, but the problem with confectioner sugar is it has cornstarch in it, and for me, it leaves a little bit of a residue. So after you put your sugar in, add a little bit of vanilla extract. And I don't, you know, baking is full of recipes and measurements, but for this, I really don't measure it. You just wanna make sure that your whipped cream isn't too sweet. And then we're just going to start whipping it. Now this is perfectly whipped cream. You can see how when you lift your beaters, it just holds its shape and it's, it could make a nice dollop, but it still is very, very smooth. But if you find that you've taken it too far, there actually is a trick that you can do to save your whipped cream. So I'm gonna whip it a little bit more to show you what over whip looks like. Yep. Now you can see that this cream is whipped a lot more and it's starting to get clumpy. And you don't want it clumpy because that whipped cream is gonna make it taste drier on your mouth and in the, for the dessert. So what you wanna do is if this happens, is just take a little bit of unwhipped cream, I'd say about a tablespoon, and just add it in and then just fold it together. Now if you've really over whipped your cream and it's turned to butter, there's nothing that you can do. But this trick works 99 out of 100 times. So when I'm whipping cream at home, I always make sure I save a tablespoon and I don't pour it all into the, um, into the bowl to be whipped. So you can just see just adding a little bit just brings it right back and makes it that smooth, beautiful, satiny consistency. Now if you find that you've added too much and it gets too thin, just whip it again with the mixer. But this is beautiful whipped cream that will make any dessert taste even better. And actually it's a great trick because if you have a dessert like a cake that you've overcooked a little bit and it's a little bit dry, just serve extra whipped cream and people will love it and they won't know the difference. If I'm gonna be making whipped cream for a party, what I'll do is I'll either make it at the last minute or I'll make it a couple hours ahead. And then what you wanna do is just before you serve it, take the spatula and just mix it evenly. Sometimes the water that's in the cream will separate a little bit, so you just wanna fold that back in. And you can also just take a hand whisk and do a couple quick turns to turn it back into this beautiful consistency.